Cheese. Cheese. Good morning. So Cheese. it is Wednesday. I've already done quite a bit. We woke up, the kids had breakfast, and I, I've done a lot today. I've organized the upstairs bathroom, like, cupboards and stuff, like my hair. Um, I've done tons of laundry and put it away. I'm still, I have like two loads left. All I have to do for the, like, for my usual routine of everyday cleaning is just vacuum. I usually pick up the house at night after the kids go to bed, um, and I need to do some dishes. But anyways, uh, today's plan is we're gonna try to go to the grocery store um, so I can get stuff to make dinner. But before that, we have to go to my parents' house because they have some guy coming to measure for win new windows and they're upstairs. So they both work, so they asked if I could go over there and sit and wait for him. I was gonna have a play date with some friends, but um, my parents needed me, so I'm gonna go over there instead. Uh, but Jessica, she is, uh, it's so funny, Jessica. You emailed me and was like, and you were like, I don't know if you remember me. Of course I remember you. You have been like one of my longer subscribers that I remember. And also like you've bought bows for me and I've sent you bows and I know your address and I've talked to you in comments. Like, of course I remember who you are. But uh, she emailed me because she sent us a care package and it's so cute. I'll show you the box. Um, the box is just adorable. Let me make sure her address is covered up. I think her daughters and her might have decorated this, but it's so cute. Look at all the stickers. She sent that for us and so I thought we would open it on camera so you can see their reactions. Ava's not home. Um, as you guys know, she goes to school during the day. She's at her dad's house this evening for her midweek visit. So yeah, so I'm gonna let the other kids open them because this box has been sitting here like this for a day and a half now and they've been so patient. Um, but anyway, so this is for Wyatt. Hold on, Kaya, you gotta wait. That's for Wawai. <laughs> what is it? Oh my goodness, you love yes. cups. What's on that? Cars. Cars and motorcycles. That's and pretty cool. And what do you say? Thank you. Say thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. You want to open one? Okay, hold on. Let's yeah. see, this one says to Kaya. Uh. Wyatt, can you pick up your trash and throw it away, please? Yes. Thank you. Oh, what? you ruined her surprise. <gasps> Ooh, your favorite color, purple. That's so exciting. Oh, thank you, Wyatt. Do you like it? Yeah. Say thank you, Jessica. She can't say Jessica. That was a good try, though. All right, Kyle, you have another gift over here. I think it's for your birthday. It says... Happy birthday, Princess Kaya. We hope you love your gifts. Love Jessica, Leslie, and Jade. <laughs> okay, you want to open them? Yes. Okay, this is for your birthday. Elsa! <laughs> she has one little part open and she can already tell it's Elsa. Uh-oh. Yeah, I got it. Matching game. That's a fun game. Yeah, and, and it's supposed to. I don't even know why. It's what do you say, Kaya? Eagle. Say thank you. Eagle. <laughs> All right, you want to open up this one? Yes. Yes. That's mommy. Okay. Yeah. And let me start it. Come over here. We'll start it on this side. What, well, Wyatt? Let her try to do it on her own. Oh my goodness, what is this? Kaya. Oh, who is that? Elsa. Who is that? Elsa. Are you excited? Yes. Do you like it? Yes. Can you say thank you? Thank you. Oh, she really likes the pictures. And then I got a gift too. In here, and that's for Ava, so we'll save that for her. Mine says, happy birthday, Kelly. Hope you have an amazing year full of love and laughter. We enjoy watching your vlogs. We hope you love your gifts, some of my favorites. From your YouTube and Instagram friends, Jessica, Leslie, and Jade. That is so sweet of them. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. I hope they don't mind me opening these on camera. I always just feel bad. I want, like, whenever anybody sends us anything, I want to be able to, like, show our gratitude and our excitement. Let's 
So it says benefit. You guys know I love benefit. This is a cute little travel case. Let's see if I can open it. Ooh, Star. Oh my gosh, that's so nice of you. I love Starbucks. <laughs> that's oh my goodness. Too nice, Jessica. That's so sweet. Let's see, there's something in here. Bubble wrap. She's so smart about her wrapping. There's like. I will open that in a second. Hold on. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. Mommy got a pretty bracelet. Let's see. Oh, and we can open this. This is kind of difficult with one hand. Let's set you. Right here. Oh, well, that works. <laughs> don't mind my hair. I don't know why. I just never fix my hair in the morning. I'm like, nobody's coming over. Nobody will see me. Ooh, a Bare Minerals blush in rose radiance. That's pretty. I love Bare Minerals. You guys know that. That's awesome. This is a Lancome Lip Lover. Oh my gosh, I love Lancome. Oh, Jessica, do you remember me? Oh my gosh, I love Lancome. I have been wanting to try the Lip Lovers forever. I have the Gloss and Loves. This is so neat, you guys. Okay, if you've watched any of my last winter's favorites, it has this little button, and I literally bought the Gloss and Love because of the applicator. Thank you so much. That's so cool. It's such a pretty color, too. Oh my goodness. This is too much. Too much already. I can already tell you that. Let's see. I would've been happy with just the Starbucks card. That's so sweet. And then let's see, what is this? This looks like maybe a MAC thing. Wyatt's upset crying downstairs because Kaya doesn't want to share her Elsa, so we're going to have to work on that a little bit. This is Amethyst, and it is a pressed pigment. Look how pretty that is. I don't know if you can see. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. So pretty. Oh, this is another pressed powder. It's so pretty. This is a pressed pigment, and it is in the color Angelic. Oh, that'll make a really pretty highlight. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness, so amazing. Thank you so much, girls. That is like, that is so sweet of you guys. A, to think of us, and B, to send such like wonderful gifts. Like, oh my goodness. My birthday month is almost over, and I'm just, I'm overwhelmed because I don't, I don't even, I don't need gifts. Just the fact that like people re like remember and wish me a happy birthday in text message or email or anything, like it just means so much to me because for many years, like my birthday just wasn't a very exciting or a happy time for me. I'm slowly like starting to enjoy my birthdays again, but it just means so much to me that you guys like will go out of your way and spend your own money and time and energy to do such nice things for me and my family when you guys really, I mean, you guys know me, but you don't know, know me, you know? So it's just, it means a lot to me. So thank you so much. Bye, mommy. You want me to open her up? Yeah. Okay. Wyatt's a little upset because he wants to share Kaya's new toy, but Kaya, they're having two little kids. It's a challenge. Okay, let's see. Wyatt, you know what, if you're really nice to Kaya, she may share with you after she's done with the initial excitement of playing with it, okay? Okay. Because she just got it, so she's super excited. Hold that, Kaya. Let me go get scissors. Here you go, Kaya. There's Elsa. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how it works. Read the instructions. So it says roll forward and backward to ice skate. She's skating. <laughs> Go. You're welcome. Say thank you to Jessica. Kekka. That's your name now, Jessica. It's Kekka. Okay, so now I need a vacuum real quick. Get my trusty vacuum out. Done. So it took Kaya all of five seconds to want me to clean and fill up her new cup. <laughs> oh no. What? 
There's a sticker? Sticker. Cup. Do... Oh, there's a sticker on the cup. It's okay. Mommy, can you make a cream oranges in my new cup? Sure. My kids have sadly inherited my obsession with cups, but that's okay. All right, guys, so you need to thank Jessica, Leslie, and Jade. So can we say thank you, Jessica, Leslie, and Jade? Jessica and Jade. Leslie and Jade. <laughs> oh, so it's Kaya's nap time. And she wants to take Elsa and I, I. So we're going to take Elsa and I, I. I don't usually, unless we have something to do in the morning, I don't usually change the kids out of their pajamas until after Kaya's nap, which sounds terrible, but I mean, she likes sleeping in her pajamas, so wouldn't she, I don't know, it just makes sense. And that way it's like one less outfit to possibly go through throughout the day because then they eat breakfast and or in the morning in their pajamas. So if they get them dirty during breakfast and I don't have to change them again into a new outfit, you know what I mean? Because if I put them in a new outfit, if they get that dirty, then that's another outfit that I have to do. Oh, you want Poppy up there? Okay, get in bed first and then we'll put Poppy up there. This is Kaya's new bed that she loves. So she got a new cup and she's got Elsa. Got Bubble Puppy over there and Olaf. Oh, guy's got a lot of new buddies. Get in bed. <laughs> Such a big girl. Do you guys remember when she was a newborn and I brought her home? Now she's like crawling in her own bed. She likes two blankets. Even if she's hot, she's like two blankets. Alrighty. Good night. Good night. Kisses. Love you. Bye. Night night. John got me this orchid for my birthday. I did a lot of research. It's showing up blue, but it's actually purple. I did a lot of research on how to take care of it, so hopefully I can keep this one alive. Because normally I kill them on accident. I usually overwater it. Like I just, I don't know, for some reason all the blooms usually fall off and then it becomes a stick plant. I've probably killed over a dozen in my time because John used to buy me a new orchid for my birthday every year and then also for like Valentine's Day because I love the way they look. I just couldn't keep them alive. So he got me one for my birthday and I did some research and hopefully I'll be able to keep this one alive. Okay, so it is 12.45 and we are at my parents' house. We just got here because I have to be here from 1 to 3. Um, did we take your socks off, Kai, or keep them on? Socks off. On? Off? Okay. Um, so we are going to be here from 1 to 3 or until the window guy comes and measures and stuff. So we're just hanging out. I'm going to scrounge up some food for the kids because I was going to stop and get something to eat for them. Like, But then I remembered that John and I are trying not to eat out um, for the rest of this month and all of next month. Um, we're actually gonna try to do, what is this? <laughs> we're going to do another fiscal fast, which we do one like once a year. Last year we did, I think we did ours last year in November too, I wanna say. Was it in November? I wanna say it was in November, but basically we just don't spend money on anything but groceries. We don't eat out. Um, we don't buy anything that we don't need, like toiletries don't count, but like we don't do any shopping. So obviously for November, um, there's a VIB Rouge thing that I was planning on going to for the last month, so that's not going to count. I know it sounds kind of weird, but because that event is happening, I will be, I will be able to buy some stuff then because there's a 20% discount, but other than that, we're not going to do any spending until Black Friday. So it's really nice when we do these fiscal fasts because we realize how much money we can save by not eating out or by not doing this or by not, by not doing that. And then also it saves us some money right before the Christmas season to be able to afford the Christmas season instead of like putting Christmas gifts on credit cards or anything. We have the cash for it instead. So all around it's a good thing. Hey, Mama. What? 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 What's wrong? What's wrong? Mama. What's wrong? You want me to hold you? Yes. Why? What's wrong? Is somebody here? No. Why are you scared? Oh, is why it's scaring you? Why? Why? Why is afraid of that thing? Here, just sit right there, Bubby. It's not gonna hurt you. I'm making your. I'm making lunch for you. 
Okay. Grandma says there is your birth. Oh, here it is. So my mom said that Kaya's birthday present came. I told you guys that if you watched our um, her birthday video, um, I talked about this kinetic sand. That sand is smaller than I thought it would be. I might have to order another one, but it comes with the sand. They she already opened the sand molds, and then this is the tray that it comes in. So and then the, the lid locks on the handles. So is that actually real? that's the rest of her. Is that Real sand. Yep, it's real sand. So this is the rest of her birthday gift. We'll open that when we get home. Kai is really lucking out today with the birthday gifts. Uh, oops. And then I'm making, I'm reheating some of my mom and dad's shepherd's pie for their lunch, which is funny because I'm making shepherd's pie for dinner tonight, but oh well. Try some of this dark chocolate sea salt kettle corn. Looks good. Oh my gosh, that is so good. So we are home from the grocery store. I would have taken you guys in with me, but I was kind of afraid of dropping my camera. Or so I didn't want to take um, the risk because when I have two kids with me, it's just, you know, more likely for something to go wrong. Mommy. What, baby? Watch something. You want to watch something? Okay. You want to watch Curious George? No. Okay. Netflix right now has this really cute, has this really cute Curious George episode. It's like a Halloween one. Oh, there it is. So it's called Curious George Boo Fest. It's a really cute little movie. It's like an hour long. I'm not going to let them watch the whole thing, but they can watch a little bit of it. Well, I put away the groceries and cook dinner. Are you guys going to watch this while I put away groceries? Okay. <laughs> Tonight I'm making shepherd's pie with my gluten-free cream of mushroom soup that my mom got me for my birthday. I picked up some diet caffeine-free Dr. Pepper. I have been searching for caffeine-free Dr. Pepper for months now, like since I gave up caffeine almost, I want to say almost three, three months ago, two and a half, three months ago, I've been searching for caffeine-free Dr. Pepper because I love Dr. Pepper, like just the taste of it. And I'm pretty okay not having Coke anymore, but caffeine-free Dr. Pepper, like I just love the taste of Dr. Pepper. So the only place I can find it is Amazon. I can't find it anywhere else. And it's crazy stupid expensive on Amazon. So I came across this caffeine-free diet stuff. So I'm hoping it tastes the same. If not, Dry can drink it, although he likes caffeine, so I don't know. But these gluten-free Kroger waffles, by the way, they're, I think, are they blueberry? Yeah, they're blue, blue, blueberry gluten-free waffles. They are amazing. So if you're gluten-free and you're looking for um, gluten-free breakfast, I would highly suggest the Kroger brand gluten-free waffles. They are delicious. These chocolate chip gluten-free muffins, however, are disgusting. I switched the laundry and now I have this to fold. I think I have two more loads to go. I have one in the dryer and then one in the wash. And then in about 30 minutes, I'm gonna start um, dinner. I'm trying the diet caffeine-free Dr. Pepper. Oh, you can't see it. This is my Sharknado glass that I got from Lisa. I love it. Let's see, what does it taste like? <gasps> it's so close to actual Dr. Pepper. Oh, but I can taste the diet part. Dang it. Put away the laundry and then I made shepherd's pie for dinner. This is what it looks like. If you're not familiar with shepherd's pie, it's got mashed potatoes. Usually, usually it has mashed potatoes, ground beef, onion, and then like a vegetable. So um, I grew up with just mashed potatoes, ground beef, onion, and corn. But as I become an adult, I've also added green beans into the mixture. And then there's also a can of cream of mushroom and then just salt and pepper to taste. The kids love this meal. On his home. He's downstairs playing with the kitties while I am finishing up my laundry. He came home like we were halfway through dinner and he got home, but um, I am exhausted. It has been a long day, but this is how every day <laughs> is for me. The only difference in my days is that um, sometimes I have two extra kids than a nanny. But basically, this is how every day is at home during the weekdays. Like I said, have just one more load of laundry. I have my whites, which are really easy. I love doing whites because they're usually just John's undershirts and like blankies. Um, and I have towels, which are really easy. They're in the dryer and then that's my last load. And then everything is clean in our house until tomorrow, of course. And then Ava will be home in about an hour and a half. And then we'll start bedtime routine with the kids, which you guys have seen that before. But I'm going to let you guys go because I'm exhausted and need, really need to get everything done so that we can get the kids in bed by 8.30. Um, 
it's just you guys know if you have children even with two people it's like you gotta stay on track else stuff goes awry and the kids are up till past their bedtime and so I'm gonna let you guys go um because I need to still vacuum which again you guys know I love <laughs> it's you know what this is why I need to vacuum again. It's because John tracked in more leaves in the entryway and Wyatt tracked some of his dinner in, or Kai and Wyatt tra tracked some of their dinner in throughout the house. And if I don't sweep it up while it's on the main level, people track it upstairs under their beds or downstairs under the carpet. So that's why I sweep so often. So you guys can think I'm crazy, but that's just my sanity. Um, and I admit I'm OCD. That's my weekday. So I will talk to you guys all in my next vlog. Talk to you later. Bye.